Pode me dar sequência de peixe, mas quero que aguente meu sentado. Don't get me wrong, being an adult and living on your own is pretty great. The only problem is, is that I now have access to adult money, which means I can buy whatever I want, which means I end up buying shit like this and having zero regrets about it. older duet this or use this sound let's show the younger generation what it means to age gracefully so i'd said it's not about how many times you fall it's about how many times you get back up then the cop looked at me and said that's not how a field sobriety test works Your girl just realized something. I'm 5'10", and I am built like Tinkerbell. And I mean cartoon Tinkerbell. And that means, I'm gonna show you, that I'm thick on the bottom, but got nothing going on up top. Oi, FML. Fun Fox fact. Foxes typically only live two to four years in the wild. At three years old in April, Charlie will have outlived 88% of all wild red foxes, estimated. So maybe stop giving me crap about having a pet fox. Let's talk a little bit about Generation X. The generation so terrifying they couldn't even give it a fucking name. So Gen Xers were raised in a very interesting period of time. They were raised by baby boomers, so they, they knew a very older and maybe kind of feral way to exist and live their life. But then they were also old enough, so when the internet and a lot of new technology started coming out, they also knew a lot more. So they had this kind of ability to cherry pick the best traits of baby boomers and millennials, which makes them some of the most dangerous fucking people in the world. Most of the Gen Xers I knew either went to the military, went to rehab, or went to jail. That means the ones that are left are fucking survivors. So for as many changes in music and style and culture that you think you've been through in the last 50 years, they've been through the most. Also, mental illness wasn't uh, trendy back then. So uh, any kind of mental illness that they had, they usually didn't get any treatment for it. So they had to learn how to cope with it themselves. Medications weren't as delicate or as effective back then. And that leaves you with some very fucking interesting people. Get yourself a Gen X friend, but they'll probably just tell you to fuck off. Things I didn't know were hot until my husband did them part three. Almost three years ago, we bought a Jeep. I love my Jeep, but it was used and it's been ridden a bit hard. Now we were all excited because we're like, this is gonna be our super reliable farm vehicle. And the Jeep was like, hold my beer. Pretty much it started having problems from the second we bought it. My husband's good with cars, which, mm, not a bad thing. So we were just systematically fixing it. But this one particular day, I had to go up to a local city to buy some barrels off Craigslist, which is a different story entirely. And of course the Jeep is like, check oil. So instead I drive it over to his work, swap cars with him so he can look at it on his lunch break. He tells me the part he needs, I go get it from the parts store and bring it to him. And when I get there to give him the part, I'm just like, oh. He's standing up on the bumper of the Jeep in dress pants, dress shoes, grease all up and down his arms and all over his shirt. And he is pissed. And I'm like, sir, I know you're real mad about having to do this, but can I see your dipstick? So a few weeks ago, my wife built a casket for me after being in quarantine with me for a few days. Apparently the only thing stopping her from finishing her plan is she was too lazy to dig the grave. After being in quarantine for three weeks now, thought 
It's about time I just speed up the process and do it myself so she can finish it and I can end this.